I'm at a turning point Finally found my happy I've learned to live and let go And finally I'm free And I'm gonna raise the bar Fair get behind me All I need's inside me If I believe past the turning point Our guest today combines R&B, funk, and gospel And at the heart of it all, soul his latest single is called Turning Point on his debut album, Love and Life, and he's here to share it with us today. Welcome, Carl Brister. Thank Hi, you. Carl. Hey, thank you for having me here. Thank you so much for joining us and being right. here today. So I want to start off by how you kind of mix genres. Like, why did that start out? Talk about your dad. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so my dad uh, was a DJ. And his DJ name was Jazzy Kazzy. And yeah, all right. Night. All right. <laughs> but look, Jazzy oh. Kazzy was the first superstar I ever, I ever knew. Right. It took me to this, the recording studios. I listened to his band play. And um, they played everything mm -hmm. um, from funk to soul to rock, R&B, of course. And my father could rap. Oh, that's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So I grew up with everything and learning to appreciate it all. And so I I infused it all into my music. And then, of course, you know, I was grounded with um, faith in, mm -hmm. in Christ. And so that sort of kind of permeates everything. Right, because you got to start singing in church. I did. I did. Nice. Um, I, I started with a group called C.D. Hawkins and Singers. Uh, the album was called A Mighty Fortress on mm -hmm. Sony records nice. and um yeah so. that's what's up so let's you know bring it to the present day you have this song called turning point where you're talking about how you know you can either decide to keep doing what you're doing mm -hmm. or turn away and so what was going on in your life at that point that made you want to make that song so i was at a, a crossroads mm -hmm. you know this whole grind of music it's it it takes time it takes dedication it takes work and I was at this place where I was just like, you know, Lord, I th I'm going to keep pushing right. or I'm going to stop right now. It was, it was a crossroad in my life. Mm -hmm. And when I wrote these lyrics, I said, you know, other people have to be experiencing the same thing. They're, they're trying to follow their dreams and they have to get to this same place where it's like you're either going to go for it right. or you might as well stop. And I chose to keep going for it. Okay, what made you want to keep going for it, though? Because you could have been like, mm, it's, it's not going to happen. Let me just, you know. You know, it's, it's who you are. It's, mm -hmm. it's who I am. This is me. Mm -hmm. To stop doing music, to stop singing, to stop songwriting is to stop being me. Right. And I, I wasn't ready to give that up. Right. So, I mean, that, it seems like it was a really profound moment in your life. Yeah. Because you made the song, and then you also made like an entire web series about you know people going through turning points. Talk to us about that. Oh yeah, so the web series Turning Point um, was directed by Julian Rivera, mm -hmm. and I basically looked around and I saw that there were so many people that that God put in my life that were living their dream. Mm whether it was big or small, mm -hmm. they were doing what they loved and that inspired me to keep doing what I love. Wow. And so the whole Turning Point series is me talking to these people, this um, village of inspiration, mm -hmm. these people who met a lot of challenges in their life, right. but somehow found that faith, that determination to keep pressing and I wanted to show people this is what it looks like right. when you're doing what you love. Right. Because a lot of people think it's just something that you just kind of like fall into. They see like the, the success, but they don't see all the work that goes into it and all the time that it took. And it gets very frustrating. And all the sacrifice. Right. All the sacrifice that it takes. Sometimes, you know, people will sacrifice, unfortunately, sometimes your health. Because you're staying up late, you're grinding wow. for hours, yeah, very, very and, true. and it can take a toll. Mm -hmm. But you're so passionate about what you do, you might even forget to eat sometimes, you know? <laughs> for real. 
<laughs> don't know? do that because then you know you can't make your best music when you're like you know your body runs down and all that it's, yeah it's but you know you love it so much mm -hmm. that sometimes you're just so focused that you forget right um but of course you get back to reality and you gotta you gotta eat <laughs> right, yeah, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta take care of but yourself. But the point is, a lot of people that were right in front of me mm -hmm. had met some challenges that I didn't even know about. Mm -hmm. Cancer, overcoming cancer, pushing past that, and saying, you know what, I'm gonna yeah. give that cancer problem to God, and I'm gonna keep doing what I I, what I was placed here to do. Right, your martial arts instructor. Yes, yeah, so yes. I see, I watched your web series right, now. Right, it was a good okay, web series. Okay. I was like, okay, Thank I'm feeling you. inspired. Yeah, my, my martial arts instructor, his name is Grandmaster Fuquan Kinsler, mm -hmm. and he's one of the people that inspired me to right. continue to do what I do. It's like, wow, if he can continue to go on, so can I. Right, right. And also, like, you know, talk about your kids, because we were talking a little bit earlier before we started, like, actually filming, you know, your kids also have, you know, kind of played a role in the kind of music that you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So I have two champions, mm -hmm. Justin and Jordan. Shout out. Girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so becoming a parent, mm -hmm. I became really sensitive to the music that I was listening to um, and playing in front of them. So right. I said when I created music, I wanted it to be dope. I wanted it to be hot. But I wanted it to also be stuff that I could play before them and be proud. Right. right. So it does guide my lyrics. Mm -hmm. And it guides a lot of the decisions I make as an artist. Right. I mean, you you know, speaking of lyrics and everything, you made a song, you know, several years ago called I'm Still Here. And it was talking about a really, really painful part of your life. Right. You, you know, talk about the process of, of going into that painful experience and making that song. Yeah. Yeah, deep. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I took you there. You so. did, but I'm, I'm glad. So, I'm Still Here mm -hmm. is a song that I wrote. Um, it, took, it took years. It was a long journey. Um, I am a survivor of sexual assault. At the age of five, um, a family friend um, assaulted me sexually. And and uh, the situ the the incident was so um, severe, mm -hmm. profound as a five year old that I couldn't process it. Right. And the person threatened me if I ever said anything. So I I became silent, and I kept it to myself for years until. And not only that, it was suppressed in my mind. I didn't even remember it. Mm -hmm. Until as a young adult, I, I, um, I was just lying still, and the whole incident came back to me. Wow! And I went through every emotion. I went through anger. Mm -hmm. I went through blaming myself, thinking that I was at fault, right. hatred. I went through this whole journey of toxic toxicity. Right. Till the point that I wanted to give up. Did you speak to anybody? Because I know as, as a black man, as a black people in general, we don't want to go to therapy. We don't no. talk it out. Like, no. how difficult was that? I never yeah. said a word to anyone. And then as an adult, I processed it as an adult versus thinking of myself and this happening to a child. Mm -hmm. So as an adult male, I was like, oh, I could have fought back. I could have done this. That it was my fault. Like Maybe it was something right. wrong with me. Um, if I tell people, they're going to think this about me. They're going to put all these connotations on me. Right. And as a man, it was um, emasculating in some sense. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so I still kept it inside. Mm -hmm. But over time, as I processed it, I began to really understand that God spared me. Hmm. He allowed it to happen. Hmm. But... He spared me. I could be dead. I right. could be a statistic that could never tell the story. Right. But I'm still here. Right. And once that, once I got that, I just started writing the words to the song. I'm still here. I, and why? 
I could never process why mm -hmm. until the song and everything came together and it was like the why is so that you can help others be a witness right right for that, that have gone through the same thing and so with my music with my voice you know every time I get to say something or sing or encourage somebody I win right it's very true very and true. that person that did this um, I can't even I still can't remember their face but I do know that they have no more power over me. Wow. That's I powerful. win. That's powerful. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Black Mental Health Month, and a lot of people need to hear that, you know, that message that you still hear you're a survivor, it's not your fault. Like, right, exactly. You know what I mean? And that, you know, that song is really uplifting in that way. Um, so it seems like, you know, aside from, you know, using your own experiences, you also want to help other people. So you have a lot of, of things that you're working on as a philanthropist. Yes. You do like HIV outreach, yes. you know, working with fathers. Talk about yes. some of those things that you do as well. Um, well, I do want to also ag agree with you and just sort of really put a, another like exclamation point behind that part of, please, if this has happened to you, say something. Do not suffer in silence. Don't keep it to yourself. It wasn't until I began to release it that I had my full breakthrough. And, and so other things that I do, I, I encourage young fathers. I've been um, an advocate for the Young Fathers Program in New Jersey. Um, my dad was a young father. Um, he and my mom had me as teenagers. And my father worked two, three jobs to make sure that um, wow. His family was taken care of, um, and I have that image. It helps me to be a better father, and so I just try to encourage other young fathers as well. Right. And um, I also have done charities for uh, children with HIV, mm -hmm. and we raise um, hats, gloves, and uh, outerwear donations so that in the cold winter days they're more susceptible to disease. Right, right. So that w they can have those things to help them out. And I try to marry it with the music. So I get to perform and share the mm -hmm. music that uplifts them. And, and it sort of kind of marries love and music together, love and life. Ah, which brings there us to go. the next question, uh -huh, love see? and life. So there what can go. fans expect on that album? So love plus life equals um, is my f first project that blends all of the genres that make me the artist that I am. So it's pop, it's R&B, it's soul, it's inspirational. And what you can expect is really good music yes. that you can sing along to. Uh -huh. um, you can roll down the window and just play it loud right. and just feel like free. Um, and it's music that you can also make love to. Right. Ooh, okay. You okay. can be passionate and intimate. <laughs> um, it's music for life. Mm -hmm. And there's something on there for basically every occasion. Okay. And so where can they find it? So uh, Love Plus Life Equals is available on iTunes and mm -hmm. online, anywhere online where music is sold or downloaded. Okay. And so are you working on anything now? Can we, you know, you know, look out for something else on the pipeline? Or? So right now, um, two things, the, the video, the music video for Turning Point, just released, directed by Ricardo Robinson. Um, very happy about that. We shot it here in New York and in Jersey, hometown, uh, West Orange. Hi, yeah. Jersey represent. What up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was originally born and raised in Plainfield, but I reside in West Orange. Okay. And, um, and we're looking to do more performances over the summer. Okay. So I'll be performing um, later in the month of May, okay. and we're um, still charting out dates throughout the summer. That's what's up. So, you know, like I was telling you, the song's been in my head all day ever since I listened to it. Okay. I can't get it out. All right. And I would love it if you could just sing the chorus to sing us out. I knew. Yeah. I knew you was gonna put me on the spot. Why you were singing that? stuff. That song, that song is good. We, we, okay, we, only if you sing it with me. 
Ooh, you do not want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what key we going? Okay, in? okay, I'm me, a, I'm a, me, 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 me. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm at a turning point. Finally found my happy. I've learned to live and let go, and finally I'm free, and I'm gonna raise the bar. Fair get behind me. All I need's inside me if I believe. Past the turn. Ning boy, you can do this part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right. All right. Check out his album.